Hello friends, welcome to episode 18. In this video, we are going to see how you can set up automatic record creation and update rules. Uh, this might be important, especially in scenarios where you have an incoming email, you want to track that and create a case out of it and then route it to an appropriate queue where team members can take care of those cases. So let's go ahead and have a look. So automatic record creation and update rules allow creating records automatically when a certain criteria is met. That means there are certain conditions, only then the automatic record creation and update rules come into effect. Now the source type can be email, can be phone call, appointment, tasks, social activity, service activity, alert, subscription, invite redemptions, portal comment and survey activity. Now these are all the activities uh, out of which a case can be created. Now as you have seen in previous videos, we can create case out of an activity. And of course, if we combine that with automatic record creation, uh, you know, cases can be created automatically and can also be routed automatically. Now you need to activate the rules before they can be utilized. Uh, and it is also possible to send and the created record to a specific queue. Now there are different record creation conditions available for each source type so um, that means if you choose uh, email there might be certain conditions that you have to fulfill if you choose phone call there might be some other conditions that you have to fulfill so based on the source type there can be different conditions that you need to fulfill so here we have the following scenario when an existing contact sends an email with subject that contains keywords such as high or urgent the system should automatically create a case with high priority and send it to the high priority case queue now to be able to achieve that uh, in this video we are going to see how to exchange mailbox setup uh, how to configure Dynamics 365 Q, how to configure Dynamics 365 Mailbox and automatic record creation and update rules. And of course, then test, uh, you know, sending the email and automatic case creation and routing of the case. So let's go ahead and have a look in Dynamics 365. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to discuss how we can set up a mailbox in Exchange and tie that to a support mailbox in Dynamics 365. Now, when people send an email to this mailbox, a case will automatically be created by the system. And we can then use either a workflow or something to assign this new case to queue or a team. Please note uh, that for this to work, you have to have access to Office 365 Admin Center and Dynamics 365 Customer Service Hub. All right, to set up an Exchange Mailbox, you go to your Office 365 Admin Center by clicking on Admin in your Office 365 environment. And then once you are there, you click on Groups and then click on Shared Mailboxes. And over here, you will find an option called add a mailbox. So if you click on add a mailbox, you can uh, then type in, uh, let's say, support. And then the system will automatically create an email address or a mailbox uh, for the name that you have uh, specified. So it can be info at the rate uh, your company name or support at the rate your company name. So just set up a support mailbox. Usually this is done by your IT or admin uh, department. But the reason I'm discussing this over here so that you have a better understanding. As you can see, I have already created a mailbox. Uh, so it's just a two step thing. And then uh, there's one more thing that you need to do. Once you add a mailbox, you will get an option to add mailbox members. So just uh, add mailbox members who will have access to this uh, uh, support mailbox. And then you might get a message saying that, you know, uh, the mem members were successfully updated. And it's important to note that it might take up to 60 minutes for the changes to uh, be effective in your Outlook or OWA. So there might be a little waiting period before uh, the changes come into effect. So as far as the mailbox uh, is concerned, this is the thing that you need to do. Now, I have explained this in detail in one of my blog articles, and I will provide that uh, link in the description. So it will be good for you to have a look into that. All right, so the next thing is to specify that mailbox into a queue. So we already have um, a queue that we had created in episode 17. So you can have a look into that. So we'll just use that uh, queue at the moment uh, for the high priority cases. So let's just click on the cog over here and go to advanced settings and then click on settings 
and then click on business management and then click on queues. So over here, you can see that uh, we have these three queues. This was created in, in previous episodes. So you can just have a look how this was created. But uh, the important configuration that I want to show you over here in the queue is that you need to specify the incoming email with the mailbox that we had just uh, specified. So over here in the incoming email in the queue, you need to specify the email and the other two settings that you need to take care of is the convert incoming email to activities. So uh, set this up to all email messages and uh, just specify the mailbox as high priority queue. So the other thing that you need to do is configure the Dynamics mailbox. So over here, if you click on the mailbox, which is the high priority queue mailbox, the settings that you need to take care of, you need to specify the incoming email as server side synchronization or email router, and you need to specify the same for outgoing email. And once you have done that, then you click on approve email, and then you click on test and enable mailbox. And once that is done, um, the outgoing email status should change to success. And if it is success over here, then you have configured the Dynamics 365 mailbox successfully. Okay, so we have configured our shared mailbox in Office 365, uh, provided the email ID in the queue setup, and have also configured the mailbox in Dynamics 365. So finally, we come to automatic record creation and update rules. And for that, let's just click on this cog and click on advanced settings, and then click on settings and click on service management. Under the service management, you'll find an option called automatic record creation and update rules. So if I open this, I have already configured uh, one over here, but let me just take you through uh, what all is involved. So the first thing that you do is click on new to create a new record. And in that record, you provide a logical name like I have specified over here, like email incoming high priority cases, and then provide a source type. So, so, so the source type can be email, phone or whatever. But based on the source type, the options that you see over here will change. So in this case, we have selected email and the queue, of course, the high priority queue that we have set up, we have selected it over here. Now, apart from all this, I have selected one more option, which says create records from email from unknown senders. And I've selected that as yes. The reason why I've done it is because if there is a person uh, who sends an email to the support inbox and if he or she is not available in my contacts list yet, I should be able to track those emails and create cases based on those emails. Now, once you save this, um, this section over here, specify record creation and update details will get enabled and you would be able to add more records over here. So what this does is these are the items for the record creations and you can specify conditions over here. So the criteria or the conditions that I've set up for this record creation and update rule is like this. I have provided a logical name like create high priority cases and the conditions that I've selected uh, is either the email description contains a keyword like high or it contains uh, a keyword like urgent. Based on this criteria, it will look at the email and if the description contains high or urgent, any one of those, a case should be created. And how that will be created? For that, I have provided the action. So I can create a case and then we set properties over here then you will see that um, there are certain fields which are already mapped. Uh, the extra thing that I have mapped is the description over here and uh, which can be easily done by looking into the fields available in the email entity and you can map that over here. And the other options that I have provided is I have provided the priority to be high. That means when the case is created, the priority would be set to high and the owner will be set to uh, the MOD administrator over here. So these are the couple of things that uh, you have to set up uh, for record creation and update rule items. Once that is done, uh, you will have an activate button over here, which you can click and then the record will be set to active. So right now, our record creation update rule is in active state and it should essentially work. So what it's doing is it's tracking the support mailbox and based on the conditions that I provided, it should be able to create a case. So let's just go ahead and test that out. Okay, so over here, I have drafted a mail and I'm sending it to the support mailbox that we had set up. 
and I have provided a subject and a body over here. And then I will click on send and let's see if the system picks that up and creates the case. So now if I refresh my dashboard over here, you will see that I have received that email, which is now converted into an active case and is also assigned to me. So instead of opening over from here, let me just uh, quickly go to the queues. We can see that the email which was converted to case is now available under high priority queue. So if I open this case, so over here, I can see that it has created a contact uh, and it has created Parish Sharma as a contact because I had used my other account to send an email uh, to the support mailbox and it has captured the case title which is the subject it has generated the case number customer as well so it has also created contact as well as the customer and then it has uh, specify the description now over here I think I have done something wrong in the mapping or maybe while sending uh, the email I have selected HTML so that's why this HTML is coming but it's it's all about configuration we can configure that so uh, the thing is that it is bringing the body in the description over here and then it is updating the timeline and uh, it is also set the priority to high and the reason why it has set because it found the keywords like urgent or high in the description of the email that i had sent so why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself